Life under self quarantine could be tough for anybody, but for people struggling with or recovering from addiction, isolation can become the enemy quickly. One former local TV reporter and author found that life on lockdown brought back some difficult memories. On your side's Ann Schindler spoke to her about her message of hope and why she wants people to know they are not alone in all this. Some people fear hurricanes. Tracy Collins used to embrace them. Hurricanes would come and for three or four days, I would think of it as a staycation for one of extended binge drinking. Almost three years sober, she's been extraordinarily transparent about her journey. Yes. But in recent days, she's worried about the impact of forced isolation on addicts. You cannot give this tricky, tricky disease one inch because it will take a mile. It's advice echoed by Dr. Brian Jackson, who co-authored Colin's book on recovery. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. That connection is especially important in these tense times. And the reality right now for a lot of people is very scary. You know, feeling isolated and lonely uh, and scared is not a good place for, to be. Collins urges anyone struggling with addiction to know there is help out there. There are people sitting at home right now who are literally killing themselves. And all they have to do is pick up the phone. You're never too far gone as long as you can still pick up a phone. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. Now, well, you can find a guide to virtual AA meetings by calling Northeast Florida Intergroup Services. It's available 24 hours a day. That number is right there on your screen. It is 904-399-8535. You can also find that number and a link to their website on firstcoastnews.com.